We will start in three, two, one, fight. All right, Butcher. It should only take one hit. Can you manage? It's got to be a good one, though. <laughs> the good thing, at least for Slab Kick here, is that with it wobbling so much, I don't think he can really put it to full speed. It's still very dangerous all the same, but not nearly as much as it might be if he could really crank it up. And there we go. Drive kicked out, but it's back in. Slab King holding against the wall, trying to not give him a chance to spin up. But of course, Brandon does manage to turn away long enough to get a bit of speed going. The Slab King ta taps him into the wall again. Puts his own face into the weapon, stalling it out. Again and again. <laughs> like, sure, why not? I don't care. Hit me. I don't have to pay for these repairs. Brandon trying to get some good hits on him there. But yeah, with that being so unbalanced right now, hard to get a whole lot of speed on it and certainly to get any kind of drive when his entire vehicle is bouncing off the ground. Come on, come at him, I dare you. Two minutes left on the clock. You can see him trembling with fear. Or is that the robot doing it? Nice uh, hit on the side there by Slab King. Putting Butcher towards the blue hazard. He bounces himself around the corner. With the weapon and all, Butcher's so large that it's actually hard to get out of that corner. And Slab King holding him up against the wall from the side here. We already know his drive's not working great, so Butcher is very much not able to wobble himself out of this. But once he is released, he comes straight at him. Not even giving up to spin up the weapon, but there it goes. And Slab King tapping it. I think he was trying to get around the side of him, but ended up hitting it all the same. Uh, this time again, Butcher facing away, getting sped up. Gets a little bit of a hit, but spins around into the Red Hazard. Slab King trying to flank him. Does get tapped and bounced off the Red Hazard as well. That weapon is even more out of alignment. I think the end of it's hitting the ground, so I don't think we'll be... Oh, yeah, the the, uh, the bearing that it's on has popped out of its frame, so I don't think we'll be seeing much more for that weapon at the moment. In the meantime, we have two pushers, one of which is a brick, the other of which is the butcher. 55 seconds to go. They're both back behind the blue saw right now, and once again, we have Slab King holding butcher up against the wall, making himself 10 seconds before he backs out of there, and off he goes. Butcher's <laughs> trying to orient himself, but drive already wasn't working great for him. He was hoping to take advantage of that big, nasty weapon that he no longer has. Uh, oh, gosh, something's grindy back there. Something's... I think something got stuck in the wheel over there. Can he wiggle his way over? I, I call that controlled movement. Oh, that sounds awful. <laughs> but he does make his way over to Butcher. 15 seconds still on the clock. The two of them leaning on each other like heavyweight boxers in the third round. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that goes to time. Congratulations to you both. Oh, boy. Both robots quite badly damaged there. I'm not sure exactly what happened to Slab King at the end because he was doing great right up until the drive failed there. And judges made the decision. The win goes to Slab King. Congratulations, Matthew.